Okay, let's try and show an outline of what you need to do to do a pumping lemma proof. The first thing you want to do is at the top, you want to write what it is exactly that you're trying to prove. So in this case, I want to prove that this language, a to the n, b to the n, such that n is an element of n, is not regular. All right, and let's just draw a line so we know that's what we want to prove. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do kind of an outline of the proof, and then I will put fill in the extra stuff. So the outline says the first thing you say is let L equal, and I'm going to fill in after that whatever my language is that I'm going to prove is not regular, but I'm not going to fill it in yet. Let me just show you a little bit more. So we're going to let L equal my language. I'll fill that in in a minute. And we're going to say, let M be the number from the pumping lemma. It's not all going to fit on the line, is it? Okay, so M is the number from the pumping lemma. And then we say, let s equal, and we're going to pick some smart string here. And I, I, you can see, presumably, because this is a pen cast, you can see what I'm going to pick. But you understand in the outline, we write let s equals, and we're going to put something here. And no matter what um, proof we do, we're always going to pick some smart string. Okay? And then we say, by the pumping lemma... S equals X, Y, Z, where Y is not lambda, Y cannot be the empty string, and also the length of the X, Y part has to be less than or equal to M, and that's just what the pumping lemma says, okay? And then we're going to do some of our proof under that. And then what we're going to say is, but by the pumping lemma, this magic string that we picked, when we pump it, something's going to go wrong. And so then we're going to say, ha ha, we have a contradiction, right? That symbol is just the contradiction symbol. And since we have a contradiction, and our only assumption was that L was regular, Oh, I didn't write that anywhere. Please, please, please. The first thing that we should write right here is assume L is regular. Sorry, this is what happens when you try and write an outline on a pen cast. All right, so we let L equal and assume L is regular. If we find a contradiction with the pumping lemma here, then we're going to say L is not regular, so we have a contradiction. Our only assumption in this whole proof was that L was regular. That was our only assumption. So therefore, since we have a contradiction, we can write, therefore, L is not regular. QED. Okay, so this is the outline of a proof, and pretty much every proof that you write is going to look like this. Up at the top, we have the thing we want to prove. We start by saying let L equals whatever our language is and assume L is regular. And then we say let M be the number from the pumping lemma and we keep going. So let's get started now. Okay, we're going to let L equal the language A to the N, B to the N, such that N is an element of natural numbers and assume So now we have to pick some clever string. We have M is the number from the pumping lemma, and I need to pick some string that um, is going to let me pump and get my contradiction. So the clever string I'm going to pick for this particular case is A to the M, B to the M. Notice those are M's as in Molly, not N's as in Nancy, right? So we've got these A to the M, B to the M, and M is the number from the pumping lemma, right? Because we just said that. So let M be the number from the pumping lemma. Let S equal 
A to the M, B to the M. So by the pumping lemma, any string we pick can take the form of X, Y, Z, where Y isn't lambda, and the length of X, Y is less than or equal to M, okay? But wait a minute. We know, since we know that the length of X, Y is less than or equal to M, we know that X, Y has to all be A's. Can you see that? Because if my string has M A's followed by M B's, and the X, Y part is less than M characters long, then I can say, since the length of X, Y is less than or equal to M, X, Y, that X, Y part must consist of just A's. Okay, well that's interesting. Um, and since Y isn't lambda, Y has to be one or more A's, right? So we can write that Y is one or more A's, right? One Y just has to be one or more A's, all right? So let's suppose that the length of Y is some number K. So Y is just going to be A to the K, right? It's going to be K A's in a row. Then by the pumping lemma, right? Now we're up to this by the pumping lemma line, right? In our outline, let's try and pump that string. Um, a good way to pump it is to try X, Y, Y, Z, right? We had to pick the string cleverly, the initial one. Um, but we did. So X, Y, Y, Z, well, what does that equal? That equals a bunch of A's, right? And then a bunch of B's. How many A's? Well, it's going to be A to the M plus another K because we added Y more, the size of Y more A's. So we have A to the M plus K, B to the M. But wait, A to the M plus K, B to the M is not an element of L, right? Well, guess what? We have a contradiction, so L is not regular, QED, right? Because it has to be a member of L, must be an element, oops, but it must be in L by the pumping lemma. Right? But X, Y, Y, Z, I hope you can see something that's small. X, Y, Y, Z must be in L by the pumping lemma, so we have a contradiction. Okay? So let's just go through this whole proof one more time. We started out and said what we wanted to prove, and then we let L equal the thing we wanted to prove, okay? And we assumed that L was regular. And we let M be the number from the pumping lemma. We have to pick something from the pumping lemma each time. Now the pumping lemma says that any string that we pick, this will be true for, so we just need to pick a clever string. I picked S equals A to the M, B to the M. And by the pumping lemma, the pumping lemma tells us that X can take the form X, Y, Z, where Y isn't lambda, and um, the length of XY is less than or equal to M. Now, since we know that the length of XY is less than or equal to M, right, we know that um, because of this here, so since the length of XY is less than or equal to M, XY must consist of just A's, because XY X, Y is less than M, and the first M characters are all A's, right? So, since Y isn't lambda, and X, Y is all A's, then Y must be one or more A's. Let's suppose the length of Y is K, so Y equals A to the K, right? K A's in a row. By the pumping lemma, X, Y, Y, Z is in our language, right? By the pumping lemma, X, Y, Y, Z should be an element of L. And X, Y, Y, Z equals A to the M plus K, B to the M. A to the M plus K, B to the M isn't an element of L, but it must be an L to B pumping lemma. Therefore, 
We have a contradiction, therefore L is not regular, QED.